Hi, this is Anna of Fiber Designs by Anne. And when I was making my last video with a fabric landscape card, I came across these fabrics, and I thought they'd be really fun to make a fish. So I'm making a fish card. And I drew just a really simple drawing, and then I marked it with the, with the black marker so I could see what I was doing. And the yellow lines are where I'll cut it if I left enough uh, room on the fabric. I'll cut it a little long so that this piece can go on top. This can slide under, this can slide under, and same here. So I already put a little uh, little lake ribble in the on my card. It's going on that so trifold card like the other one. And so now I'm going to build it onto the card. So I'll be cutting these out. And I've removed the paper from most, if not all, of these. So these have these pieces have fusible on the back of them. And I'm going to get some bigger scissors here. So I'm cutting my pattern as the freezer paper on top. So I'm cutting as close as I can without cutting on the paper. And if you haven't watched the miniature fabric landscape, it's really simple and fun and I hope that you'll go and check that out. Because this is pretty much the same techniques. Okay, and this is the underbelly. So now I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'll build my, build my fish here. Let's see, I think I was looking, I'm looking at, so I'm looking at this to see where it goes. But it's just kind of a guesstimation. I see that the this fin is a little above the wave. I could draw it on there so I have something to actually follow, but that would be too easy. And I cut these off. I was going to cut them so this would tuck under. I cut them off too close, so that's okay. It's going to, they'll just butt up against each other. Another thing that you could do, and I usually do the button up against so that there's not a gap uh, that shows white, like, like right there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what you could do is take a marker and go over all the lines and make it a little more illustration looking. This fin is supposed to go about there. I'm going to tuck it under a little bit still. And now I'm going to take the, the 8 pattern off of there. And that's a little ways behind his head. I'm not really sure how this one should go. I think maybe like that. And then my drawing, they're right above each other, 8 and 3, and I don't like that. I'm going to move this one up, and I'm going to move 2 back number two back here. Sometimes you can't because it won't quite line up with the curve that you had drawn. And then I'm going to move this one back here a little ways. But I think the whole thing's going to come down. 
because that fin is hitting the top. And I'm going to just let that overlap a little bit because it can. If they overlap a little, I could do it all on the the uh, resist paper, but I like to build them on my on my uh, sub my surface. In this case, cardstock. Oh boy, it's a little fiddly. See, overlapping those would have been such a smart thing if I had had been thinking. That would have been better, but we can just put them up there. They don't have to be perfect. No perfect. Okay, I like that. I'd like it better if he was sort of more straight, but I'm not going to mess with it now. So I have this little eye, and I think before I put it uh, on him, I'm going to, in case I mess it up, I'm going to take my marker and just... <clears throat> uh oh Oh, my, my water's moving around on me. I'll have to iron that back down. And then draw a circle. <clears throat> Could use a white, I have a white mar a white pen, but to, um, it's going to bleed a little bit. A white pen, I could put a little glare, reflection, or waterish, but I'm not going to do that with this. So then, I'm not thrilled with that, but you know what? It's kind of cool. So I'm going to drop that in here somewhere. I think that's okay. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, so now I'm going to get my parchment paper. I have a hot dry iron. And iron it. If the fusible doesn't want to fuse, I will glue the pieces down. We'll see how it goes. I could have painted the background or used a solid blue or something on the background, but I wanted it to be a little more, have a little more contrast and kind of pop off of the page. So let that cool a little bit. I see a, a little, yeah, I just pushed that right up. I saw a little gap there. I just push that up and I can press that again if I need to. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's quite cute. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do and tap the bell and you'll get notifications for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.